So let's start off. Uh, I'm curious, why do you think there's such a strong anti-homosexual sentiment in Uganda? Because there's a lot of ignorance. There's a lot of uh, uh, anti-gay groups that are using religion and trad- and culture to victimize people like me, a minority group. And it's because there's a lot of also Western influence on the other side. It's, it's about economics and politics. So it's political, it's economical, it's social. But uh, it all ends up to ignorance and the fear to know the truth. Are you in danger for defending your rights? Of course, you wake up every morning being scared, not knowing that you're going to turn back to your house. You're walking on the street, everyone is pointing at you. Right now where I'm talking, I'm, I'm just opposite the parliament. Everyone is looking at me. People are pointing fingers because they can easily identify me. So it... It, it's fear. You never know what is going to happen to you any time. But I'm with colleagues around me, so I'm not alone. I want to ask you about the award that you won, that you you won here in Geneva, and that you'll be here to collect later in the year. Um, the the Martin Annals Award. How does it feel to to win that award, and what does it mean for your cause? Uh, that award meant a lot to me, and not only to me, but to the people I represent, to the voiceless people I I voice out for. And I believe it's going to motivate very many young people to join the human rights movement around the whole world. And not because they, they will join because they want to be recognized, but it will show them that it's good to stand up for what you believe in. And another thing is that it has not been welcomed here because there's been press releases, there's been talk shows and radio talk shows um, in Uganda from, the, of course, the religious leaders, the cultural leaders, they're saying, I'm disgracing the country, but it has shown the whole world that LGBT rights are human rights. So whoever had a doubt about it, as now, have something to think about, because the whole world, big organization like the Martin Enos Foundation, with 10 very prominent human rights organizations, have acknowledged that actually you cannot discriminate on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. So it has been to put our struggle on the map of the world and people are going to actually go back and think and realize that LGBT rights are really human rights because before I'm LGBT I'm a human being so it has been welcomed by my community by our allies and I believe it's going to help us go beyond we can use that to argue our struggle we can use that to go on the front line we can use that to you know fight the cause that we believe in because here, it's life and death. It's life and death. This bill could be passed today. This bill could be passed any time on Friday. So it's life and death. And for us to know that the whole world acknowledges that LGBT rights are human rights is actually a big thing for us. Are you sad for your country? Honestly, today speaking, I'm very sad with the human rights situation of my country. Not only for the women, not only for people living with HIV and AIDS, because the government officials are embezzling money, there's a lot of corruption, people are dying in hospitals, we are having political opposition leaders being arrested every day, even yesterday two were arrested, they've just been released, and so the LGBT people are about to be condemned, sentenced to death. So the, the human rights situation in my country is really sad, and not only the human rights situation, but the economical situation, the social situation, you fear to go out because there's police everywhere. So I'm really sad for my country, and I hope, I hope we can do something to make it a better country. Well, thank you for speaking with me. You're welcome, Alex. That's Kasha Jacqueline Nabagasera, a gay rights activist in Uganda, where the government is debating making homosexual acts punishable by death. She won the prestigious Martin Ennels Award for Human Rights Defenders, an award chosen by 10 of the world's leading human rights organizations. She'll be in Geneva to receive her award later this year.